Hey, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. This Wednesday's video is four watercolour card ideas which you can make at home. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn the notification bell on. So first of all, the supplies you will need are some blank cards or you can just fold in half some watercolour paper if you like and don't forget an envelope. And I'm using a watercolour palette, but you can use any other form of watercolours you like, or blendable markers. Uh, and some water, paintbrushes, a pencil and an eraser in case you need to rub anything out, and a fine liner. So for this first card, we are going to use a wet on wet technique. So you start off by just wetting your page with water, just painting with your paintbrush. This helps the watercolours to blend more easily to get a nice effect. And next you get your chosen colours. I chose um, pink and blue and you start to add it where you put your water. So because of the water you put at the beginning, it should blend more easily. So now that it is dry, you can just write your message in a fine liner. So I just wrote happy birthday in, well, I wrote happy in cursive and then birthday just in capitals. So for this card, you just do various horizontal lines in different colors, but make sure they aren't touching. You will see what this is going to look like in a second. So after it has dried, got over it in fine line to make it look like a cake. So I did some little uh, like bunting lumps around the middle with the second line down. Not sure what that's called, but you can see. And then also I did some candles at the top. I know I said we were only going to use the supplies I said at the beginning, but I forgot to do the the flame of the candles with watercolour, so I just went in with my yellow felt tip. So for this card, you start off by doing the same horizontal line as you did in the last card, but we are going to turn it into something different this time, and you will see what in a second. So once it is dried, you start off by drawing a vertical line down the middle and then a horizontal line across and then draw a bow at the top to finish it off and to make it look like a gift. So for the final card, I did a blue watercolour wash in the background with a kind of ombre sort of thing getting lighter at the top. But you can choose any colour you like.
So now that it has dried, you can just write any message you like with fine liners, why she did birthday wishes. So we have come to an end for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and do let me know if you would like any similar videos like this and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Bye!